Oh. I'm here now. I had like I had like five things going on. My girlfriend just left my house, and somebody else called me. And another person called me, and I'm in here with y'all. So it was a lot going on that like 20 minutes. Ago. But uh, yeah. So uh, I saw some of your your Tower God video. I came kind of like through like three fourths way through. As I was just listening, then I typed in the comment section. I mean, this chapter it was just like Bam was like, oh, I let everybody die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yo, Vince. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's gone to the washroom, so oh. I don't think so. Well, when he comes back. You came. <laughs> oh, that was funny because you, <laughs> you came, he left. That shit funny. I just looked at the Raws, the ones with no translation. Fucking. Did you read the one with the, the English trans thing? Yeah, the one. Five yeah, send that. Uh, yeah. Eight. Send that to me, the new one with the, the oh, English. Oh, I thought you were talking about 507. Oh, I thought I read the last week's one. Oh. Uh, there's people in okay. this, like, obvious. Gonna no, I know though, Phil, but... Phil will send it. Phil will send it to me whenever the new one comes out. But I just read the new one. He was fucking. Oh, wait, he's going live. <coughs> so we should we should pause. Yeah, what's going on? Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad I saw the notification because I might have spoiled somebody on something if I ain't look. On what? <laughs> Nothing. It's better if they don't know. <laughs> no, I was I was telling you, dude. I didn't know you were gone because I said I got like four or five calls back to back. Uh, so I was like, so I was just in that short amount of time. Yeah, okay. uh, just for the moment. What's up, Yak? Yak, what are you doing? Are you free? Tesla, my dude. I'm alright, man. Can can I check you? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> can I? I don't know. Glam Glam is six foot eight. You might have me with reach only. You might just have to jab me. You can just jab me to death. <laughs> Keep me late. I don't know. I don't know why that picture of me is so funny to me, bro. What am I doing? <laughs> we don't know. We don't know either. <laughs> like, what am I doing? I'm just like reaching out. I don't know what's going on, man. That shit's so funny. I love people. What's happening? We just did a Tower of God stream. Do you have any thoughts you want to bring up before we like talk about other things? First, no, of, that's what I was first of all, can y'all listen? I said, I, yo, I, I sat there and I said, um, um, no irregulars. No irregulars. <laughs> I <laughs> gave you a wreck frame while I said no irregulars. Can I use yeah. can it no irregulars? Stop it, man. No, I'm up super Okay, all right, man. All right, man. I understand that. Do your thing, brother. Glam, if you're around, you can hop in if you want to, by the way. But um Yeah. What do you think of the chapter though? What do you think of it? How does how do you how do you feel about this Yama thing with the with the fang? Is this am I the only one who's like this is just not it at all? I don't I don't care. Okay. I, Legit exactly. legit legitimately I the only thing that makes me semi care about this mm -hmm. is Yasharacha basically saying that like ah we're just pets to the fucking head of the family which is what I thought so it was just like oh, okay that got confirmed like the big dog was like hey like y'all y'all kind of stink and I was just like breeding y'all for fun <laughs> just doing shit like I was just testing and I got got tired of your dad so I offed him mm -hmm. with Yasharacha but that that was, yeah, yeah, so yeah like this definitely whole... felt like he was posturizing there, or like speaking from more from a more experienced standpoint. Like he understands almost his place in the family too, you know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He 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 know what it is, man. Like he just like he like bro. Like I'm, I'm trying to keep you like high key. He trying to keep them alive, not out of the goodness of his heart though. But he's like I'm telling y'all, he's like there's no point of you doing. It. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like it like even if you somehow got past me, which you can't right now because I just I just beat the shit out of you. Like 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 you'll get destroyed. Like come on, mm -hmm. stop playing. Like. Y'all doing all this revenge stuff? Like, what are we doing here? <laughs> but yeah, so I don't, I don't really care. I don't know. Like Yama, like Yama's yeah. cool because of his design, and when he fights, he's cool. Nah, but as far as like nah, the character cool, nah. stuff, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care. Yama is. Yama. I don't care about Doom. I don't care about Paul. I don't care about this thing. I, I don't, I don't, I don't care. Hey, but I, I'll give him, I'll give him credit though. At least he got his his Bam version of the Thorn of how he gonna get stronger. Because like I, I didn't know how he was gonna beat Yasuracha. Is so. it, I just, oh. I just find that so disappointing. Just like, no. I'm gonna just stick this tooth in your chest. Now go win, man. I'm tired of this. That's, shit, bro. I don't know. 
I, I feel like bringing it up is like pointless, but it's just always comparing like the blog post. I know it's like you know what it is, but like how he's portrayed in this to right now, like so man, I don't know. <clears throat> I, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell it. you that I, I don't care anymore, and I'll just tell you why. Because like at this point in the series, there's no point of me getting disappointed with something like this because we know people don't train, so like there's no point. Like mm -hmm. the only way you're gonna get stronger is if somebody gives it to you. Or but there's certain circumstances I agree, somebody But does. I agree with what Yak said. I think indifference might be one of the most under, underrated death sentences for a story. I think if you start to become super indifferent, it's, like, I think it's better to hate something to not to, to be indifferent. Oh, I agree. I agree. I 100% agree. He's not wrong at all. That's But that's but it's just that the, the, the other fan base, the fan base beat me down. And just like SIU's kind of beat me down over the course of the story. Like, I stopped trying to like get myself hyped up to just like, oh, there's going to be like a logical progression. It's just like logical progression for him is that, all right, you fight, you might lose, or you're going to need a power up to get like, basically, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I look at this series kind of like how I look at like Dragon Ball. I was kind of making that correction the other day. I was like, this is basically Dragon Ball to me, like Korean Dragon Ball, except like, unlike Dragon Ball, it's kind of lied to me. At some point, and I had to, I had to correct myself. I had to overcorrect to get to where I am now. So I don't, I'm not fighting with everybody every day. Mm -hmm. But because Dragon Ball, he never set, he never set no rules. He never set no standards. He was just like, you know, people fought, things happen, and like it doesn't sit well with you 100 percent of the time. But you can't really bitch about it either because it's just like, okay, well, he never like set a standard, like. Like even like when we talk about Zenkai boots and stuff like that, that's not really that's like something we learn like off screen. Like that's something like we just know a Dragon Ball fan, but like mm -hmm. in the story, there's not like oh you got a Zenkai boost. Like like nobody does that. Like but in Tower yeah, of God, we, it's like we oh we gave it a name, but we just we just know that when Saiyans come back from the brink of death, but that's not so yeah they like they, they get they get stronger yeah yeah. It, but it's like a tower of gods. Like we thought we had rules, we thought we had like things we could gauge and stuff that we you know like. Oh, I can follow the strength because of this, and like these rankings matter, or at least like even when it said that like oh it's not all based off of strength, we thought we had a, like a an accurate judgment, but all of that got thrown out the window like a while ago now, like last season. So like, yeah. no point of me like even like doing that. So yeah, I don't care. Uh, I think another thing is it's kind of like I think it's all three of us can agree that it's kind of gotten to the point where we only just care about certain characters, like. I think Naya, if you love, like, basically his if thing. You love, love Karaka's right? not I mean, here. Like, I don't know if I read this every week. <laughs> yeah, Vince, I'm pretty sure it's Machini, and like those, those are the things. He I loves only at this Everything point, else... at this point, anything with fighting, I only like depending on who's fighting. I halfway care about it, but I don't really yeah, care yeah, about like... fighting or necessarily like the characterization of how they're gonna get their next power up. I will say I only this, though. care about mystery yeah. stuff. I actually just think that I'm genuinely disinterested in the arc and the purpose of the arc and the arc goal. I think because FUG doesn't care about Hodge and Sung, I don't either. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like, yeah. if they were like, they got, they got who? Yo, Galvanite. Like, you know, like there's like, eh. And I was like, well, if you guys That's don't care, true. why do I give a damn? Like, <laughs> You thought that like important. Five though. different purposes in this arc, right? Like, yeah. I mean, I but but we 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 we, we know we, the we, sentimental. We know really, yeah. I'm not, I'm not saying that, but my point is that like, for me, it's not even pra a pragmatic thing for them to do if it wasn't a priority. Like, oh shit, we lost Hodge and some. Let's go get him back. Obviously, it could just be like it's, it's it's a dumb thing to do because that's the fucking army. But like, you don't have the firepower or manpower. But they just seem so like meh, whatever. It is what it is. It's like. Could you imagine if, like, your star player got, like, like ah, whatever. Let's we'll play with our role players. Like, you know, like, it kind of came across to me that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't disagreeing with you, though. No. I, I, was I was just saying that we already know that, like, nobody in this organization knows what the fuck's going on. Like, there's, like, there's no plan here. Like, mm -hmm. that, that kind of leaves me jarring, too, to a lot of stuff that happens in Tower God. What's the plan? <laughs> what are we doing? There is what is no anybody plan. doing? There's, there's no. Everybody has like 50 million plans, but as far as the plan for like the main characters, what are they supposed to be? Like, I'm supposed to win. Because part 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 of the problem is is normally when you have a story with a lot of characters, right? They all have their own hopes and dreams, and all they all have their own things that they want to accomplish. Like we got One Piece. Like Robin wants to make the map. 
Zoro wants to be the greatest swordsman. Like, you know, everybody got like the stuff they want to do, and they may follow their leader. But like, Tower Guy got so many characters where I'm not even sure. Like, what do they want to do? Or just like, they're so far removed from their original goal. Like, does Hockney even care about his painting anymore? Like, well, what's going on with that? Like, what, what are we doing? And like, like I like I know Kuhn, He just helped Bam all the time. And we got some stuff here and there with some of the characters. But it's just like, I, I don't know. We get, like, hints and stuff so nobody comes up. I throw like, oh, but this, 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 this. Like, like, yeah, I know, I know. But, like, not, I mean, maybe y'all care about it. But I don't care. There's nothing that made me, like, care about the stuff they're doing. What's up, high and low? And, um, yeah, I don't care about Jinx on that much either. So, yeah, yeah that you. never helped. What's up, high and low? We talking about a little bit of TOG. We're just kind of wrap. I just had to stream on YouTube, so I'm just kind of wrapping up the conversation. Then we'll move on to other things. And why still read, do I read JK, JJK? The last chapter I read was... Um, did we just meet Hakari? I think I, I saw him, and he said something about paying for my ex girlfriend's with his credit card or some shit like that. So, so I'm like, I might be a month behind, maybe three chapters, but nah. I, you're right though. No. The fact that I'm not cut up the Golden Kamui and Dino Ace right now is so fucking disgraceful. But I'm just tired, man. There's so much going <sighs> on, man. I can't. I don't yeah, have, do better. Sometimes when I'm, when sometimes and I have to prioritize what's getting covered on the channel, dude. It's hard, man. I gotta retire or God, the Ooh, anime. Better. I'm interested in the story. The anime is mid, so. <laughs> just, well, just like I said, it. I. Like I said, I thought it did its job for that. Yeah. I, that's the only positive I had to say about the anime. I said, I guess it gets you like interested in like what's I'm going on. I'm not caught up my hero either, actually. Honestly, East hasn't been pressing me as much as he used to. And see, it's always <laughs> it's right for you of Kingdom. When I was reading Kingdom Weekly, it's because I think his name was Rich, Richard, Rich, like like Richard or Richard Sue the AMG. He was sending you a chapter every week. He yeah. was every week that nigga's like, "What's your thoughts?" Here's the chapter. So it, since someone would go out their way to give it to me, I would just read it, you know. So East used to hit me on IG, posted it, <laughs> posted in my story or posted in my thing, and then be like, you know, we'll voice note me his thoughts and we'll talk about it throughout the day or whatever. He don't do that no more. <laughs> so I um, haven't. I haven't read. He's lacking. I haven't read my hero in like two weeks. <laughs> he's fucking you now. Fuck, bro. No, my hero just one of those things too. I think I just gotten to the point where I'm just kind of like on a weekly basis. I don't care as much. It's like on a weekly basis. I want to see like the culmination of the shit that happens, but I just don't care to it to follow it on a week by week basis. Like when oh, the big shit you, happens, I do that. Can I please ask you this question, Vince? Because I know you, because your Berserk is one of your favorites. So how did it? So what? How did that chapter go? Like what happened? Like what, what, what was going on with um? Is that the last chapter actually, or is it going to be? Oh, like they're still they're still figuring that out. But basically, I don't want to spoil because somebody might care about. It. Basically, they did something tying Griffith to the moon to the moon baby, and that's kind of where it leaves off. Okay. And that's the best thing I can say. They tied they tied Griffith in the in the moon child together and i was like oh shit and like that's like one of the like 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 it kind of leads you to like you 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 think you know what it means you have a good idea you, you think you know what it means but you're not 100 percent sure and that's why it could hurt because it's just like wow what a cliffhanger to leave the fucking story on like yeah it's bittersweet because the last thing that mira worked on and you could tell it's like wow like thank god like he was kind of you tie some things together, but it's just like you might never get it. But they haven't decided yet. I don't think. Interesting. What they're gonna do? Because I, I would. I, here's how I. Here's what I think about it. If Miria left some type of transcript of some sort or whatever the case is, and see, that's what I thought if too. He laid it, if he like kind of laid it out because he knew what was happening to him, but maybe he wouldn't be there. I think they should follow through with the vision do their best to emulate his art style and all of those stuff and just try to produce it the best way they can. They'll never do what he can do, I guess, but still do your very best. If that's not the case, I think you just leave it here. You let it be. It is what it is. It happens. Yeah, that's it. it very, it, it very bittersweet. Like for me, cause like it will always like people are like happy with the chapter or whatever. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's definitely super bitter because I always going to feel incomplete. I'm like, this is, this is like le leaving the thing on a cliffhanger like this. Cause it's not even like one of those cliffhangers where it's just like, Oh damn! Like this could get a sequel. This couldn't get a sequel, but it's cool. It ended right here. Like no, I literally just pain. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if he if he left like a roadmap or like he said like some 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 type of instructions of how it could go, I definitely think they should do. Mm. I think I think they've been working because as far as I know, he trained all those those people that were with him working on it. So as far as I know, 
they they'll do a pretty solid job with the art and stuff. So not to be a hater, but Berserk is so mid to me. I'm kind of with you. <laughs> like I mean, that's, my that's opinion. Fine. I know Berserk, it, my opinion on Berserk hasn't changed, but I, I still wanted to know what was going on with it. But um, I just I just find it hilarious that I, finally when the character I've been waiting so long to was kind of reinserted, like Casca. This is what happened. So it was like, I don't, it just wasn't meant to be for me, bro. It was not meant yeah, to be. I, the I mayor! My guy Townsy. Thank I, you, sir. I feel, I, feel, I feel like Berserk is only meant to you if you don't care. Like, to me, this is like a big character journey. So if you don't care about the big three main characters and some of the other people that come along the way, then... Because even though the, the overarching story is not like Tower Guy, we're just like, we got all these mysteries and stuff mm-hmm. like that. I mean, there's mysteries and stuff, but it's really about, like, the people in the story like if you don't care about them and their journeys then yeah you're not going to care about them. i agree with you it's an easy story to make the the distinction if if you like this story or not because mm-hmm. it's just like if you don't care about the people on the screen like tower god like i said for me it's like oh i like the mysteries and the lore and that's why i continue to read it but the actual people in this story is kind of hit or miss depending but on tower god too i think is something that's really easy to discuss and you can get into so much you know like, there's so much to talk about mm-hmm. here but, like one piece as well uh, yeah almighty my guy what's going on um but yeah i think bullet like like even if he did something like toriyama used to do for to- toyotaro and shueisha and or like toy it's not enough i want like if you had like a detailed plan of what to do and what you need to do then i think it should fall through if that's not there i think i would just leave it i don't know but maybe i don't know release the transcripts let <laughs> us read just read the bullet points like <laughs> guts fight guts fight griffith guts win they get married. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah. Vince saying the most important part of any st- uh, Vince saying the most important part for any audience. They don't care. They won't read or watch. Doesn't matter what story is. Yeah, that's that's true. That's kind of with me. I, I, however you think Berserk is, it is what it is. I just don't care about it. I'm just more. I'm just honestly, Yak. At this point, I'm more impressed in people's ability to be able to like anything. Like I didn't, I didn't realize how much the human humans have the ability to take a story. The writer could tell you very little of his intentions, and you could just make it all up. And people will be like, "Oh, well, he really meant to do this, this, and this." And I love it because of this, this, and this. And it's just like I can't believe y'all thought this person was strong. Like I see it every day. Like now, I'm just so confused. Like because for me, I'm like, I'm, it's not necessarily. That I want the author to tell, like, I don't want the Hunter x Hunter where it's like, I got to have a narrator tell me every little thing that's happening, every play. I don't need, I don't need a play by play. Bum gosh. But like, yeah, but I need like a, like, I like like a roadmap. I like like the intentions to be fairly clear for, for most things. And then if you want to hide or be clever with a couple of things, cool. But like, I don't like this that. You know, we gotta like, like, like for like, like I was saying my tweet earlier. I don't, I don't like this, this shit where it's just like, I thought I knew what was going on, but I found out that I didn't, because I'm not even somebody who does something that, like a logical, like a one piece shit that I see all the time. I'm not making those weird leaps and bounds. Nah, uh, yeah, I think you're talking about like the death of the author thing, which has been like talked about, or like the author's message isn't the most important thing. It's what you get out of it. Mm. And like you know what I mean, so I th- so I think you're saying you're like against the death. You're like you don't want, you want you're more of like what the author himself wants into the story, not what the reader gets out. Like of I'm I'm but cool with like sometimes uh, the author lets you think what you want to think as far as like any like like stuff like Neon Genesis like that shit is hilarious to me. But like I think it works for that series because people. Yeah. You know, they, they come up with so many things, they make so many videos, and then they might have been like, oh, I just did this because I thought it was like cool and like. I was like, I wanted to put a cross on the screen, like, like, like you might have just did that, like, it would have been like, that's fine. Mm-hmm. But, 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 like, when it comes to a story like Tower of God or One Piece or anything like that, I don't want that. Here's, here's, I, I, here's, I want, I want their vision. Here's my take, and Death Note is one of my favorite examples of this because I remember when we used to have all of these conversations about did like Yagami become a Shinigami. I like shit like that. A little bit of open ended ending. You tied up enough things, the things that matter, but you left enough that there's a discussion and conversation to be had. But there's certain things in the story that I don't want it to be left to interpretation. This does this. If if Y happens, X happens. You know what I'm saying? 
Right, yeah, exactly. Especially with, stuff with power scale and exactly. stuff like that. That like, should not I, be up to interpretation. I need I need a, little, a certain level of consistency depending on what the what the story element is or what what have you. So I know I need to know if a devil fruit user gets thrown in the ocean, they sink. There's no fucking exceptions, right? They sink yeah. their anchors. Like things like that. So I totally feel and understand you. Now it's the fourth quarter right now, so I'll be there in like 30, 40. Bro, I might not be streaming in 30, 40 minutes, so you choose football or Dragon Ball. It's up to you. And I don't, I don't mind. Either either option is yours, brother. Um, No one. Not a soul finna check you. Hey, tell him again. Wait, am I going to die on the altar now? I don't know. That's We're so good at Golden Ace. We're good. We're just chilling. I'm going to check you. How y'all doing? Death of you. Yeah, because like like we're we're reading Dragon Ball and it's just like the stuff some of the stuff that Toriyama was doing. It's like I'm cool with it to a certain extent, but I'm not so cool, especially at my age now. I'm not so cool with it where I could just completely let it all slide. And I realized that about myself after reading reading it and reading Tower of God stuff. Now I'm just like, okay, I can understand how some of y'all are cool with some of these decisions and like y'all are just like this is cool. And like this, is, but to a certain extent, I'm just like ah, all this stuff. I can't just excuse everything that gets. Mm. To a, just, it, gets, it gets to a point to me. It's just like okay. Mm. You think up early stinks? I'm actually a morning person. Yeah, like I'm not a nighttime person, so I'm actually okay with the morning. I'm used to being up that early now. But so I can give you, I'll give you a quick example though. In Dragon Ball, I was, I was, I was reading Dragon Ball, and I still need to go back and look at it again to make sure I wasn't tripping. But I had a quite I, I I was just like big confused. So we get to the cell arc because that's Pat's favorite arc. But you know I'm not mad at him for that being. That's what I want arc. to talk about. I want to tell him why he's wrong. <laughs> it's Frieza, but it is what it is. He watch him. He watching the Giants lose. <laughs> no, Giants not playing. But uh, no, it was. Um, Did they play earlier? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they watching them lose. Like a like a um, so when the android, so when when Jero was making the androids, I was like, wait, how did a human? Make a being stronger Use, than the legendary using Super Saiyan. Humanity as the frame. Remember the human beings he turned into androids. Let's keep going. Keep going. Yeah, and he made them stronger than something that was supposed to only exist like once every ten thousand years or something like that. Super Saiyan. I don't remember the exact number. It didn't make sense. like the cell thing. I understood because he literally took the cells from the people, <laughs> and he freezing. He cold too. So that made sense to me. And Cell evolved as he absorbed people and got stronger. But how was Android 17 and 18 stronger? That didn't make any sense to me. Like, that's a wild, like, mm -hmm. leap of, of human. Like, and then, like, like, like we know humans, like, Boma and her dad are, are two of the smartest people other than Jero on Earth. Mm -hmm. And, like, they went to Namek and shit like that. And they had shit that far, was far beyond them. Scouters. The little healing tanks, a lot of shit that they did was just beyond them. Like that don't mean they couldn't do it, but they didn't have the technology at the time. So how the fuck Duro was just locked locked in like he was fucking Kobe Bryant and just fucking <laughs> making two androids it. Like I what? I made a video on it, I just didn't put it out. About the Batman webtoon thing. I just didn't put it out. I made it like on Wednesday. I don't know why I didn't release it. But you're right, Pat. Keep, I'm not Pat. Um Vince, keep going. Sorry, my fault. Yeah, no, that was just part of the reason why I don't rate that arc nearly as high like there's a lot of enjoyable things like like and also it's just like it is consistent with the same pride and ego but if you look at vegeta from the sand saga to the freezer saga and how he was so quick to kill an enemy that was far beneath him without like fucking around and wasting time mm -hmm. and then you go to like these dudes in the in the in the in the um cell arc and how they just be like, oh, go ahead, get stronger. Oh, okay, here's a sensu bean. Like, oh, like, like, for me, it's just like, nah, man. Y'all weren't doing that before. Y'all were quick to get rid of somebody. <laughs> like, Goku didn't get rid of people because he was like, oh, they're going to turn good. Like, they're, they're, you know, it's not all, they're not all bad. And like, I semi understood why he let Gohan do it because he realized the potential in Gohan and he wanted to make sure that, like, it got Drew all the way out. Mm hmm. And also, you know, so like I semi understood it. I don't agree with what he did, but that's a, that's that's not like necessarily bad writing. I, I just don't agree with him just being like, hey, you know, like I'm just like, you know, give Cell a sense of being and <laughs> like that. Like, nah, I would never fuck. That. That's crazy. 
I don't necessarily think that's like bad writing or anything like that. But no, there's some things in there. That's why I say he start he starts slipping and getting into the cell art. There's just shit that happens. Yeah, you just he just he saw Terminator and he just wanted to copy that shit. It's, it's okay. You know. Yeah, yeah. So that that's still a good arc though. And also I said Toriyama pretty much for the most part, all his arcs end good. That he wrote himself. Pretty mm-hmm. much every arc that he wrote ended well. Mm-hmm. Well, you guys just read it in book clubs, so I understand. But yeah, it's fresh. It's fresh in your mind. But your Golden Ace, yeah, I, um, I, I was actually planning on at least reading a bit of the Batman stuff just to see uh, at least the first three stuff. Like I said, I showed you, I actually made a video talking about the DCX Webtoons merger and stuff like that, and just didn't. I don't know why I didn't put it out. I just, it's just, it's been sitting there. I don't know. Maybe I'll drop it on Monday with Kubera. We'll see what happens. But um. What did you miss? We just talk. We just, I don't know. I don't know. We like miss a lot, man. <laughs> we talked about Berserk and all kind of thing. But uh, didn't Jiro have robots on Namek? No, because Jiro didn't know they could turn Super Saiyan. Didn't yeah, he, he would have known that. I don't. I don't remember if he had Frieza. Did he have Frieza cells? He got him because Frieza came to Earth. Came to Earth after the fact, but he never. Yeah, but he, yeah. But he, that's that's, that's how he made okay, cells. Okay, okay. I remember that. I remember that. All right. That's, that's what I was gonna say. I remember that kind of clearly. But. Yeah, that's what that's why I said. I understood why Cell was the strongest mm-hmm. he was. Mm-hmm. That made sense. Yeah, Golden Ace. Yeah, for real. But I'll, 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 you know what? I'll put it out tomorrow. I'll drop the Kuber video at the usual time, and later in the day, I'll drop the Batman video. Um, but I, but I didn't make it. I just didn't put it out. This, there's like I have a lot of videos that I make, and I just let them sit there. It's something that they don't come out because I, I don't know. I, I'm so adamant on not posting every single day and every other day, but I might. I'm thinking about starting daily uploads, but I don't know if I can sustain that. That's the problem. Like I am. Yeah. I am you know not. Fault, if I just did this, maybe. But like, bro, life is hectic, man. Like, I never thought of a drill situation like that. Does it make sense how those androids now? Y'all got me questioning my own life now. That's one of the first things I question. Especially, it's one thing. It's like. Like what? Like I could almost imagine. Like let's say like some weird meteorite fell and he like some symbiote shit and he turned. Like you know, it's like he used human beings as the frame, <laughs> and you made them you, stronger than a super saiyan. Like I. So you're saying? I so you're don't saying he believe. didn't make the big Getty star, bro? The big, <laughs> the big Getty star. The big Getty star. That's the best explanation for him. Oh shit! Be so different if you could just do this, right? <laughs> What's up? What's up, Tony? How you doing, man? How was your? How did your alt your colors ultimate thing go? Cause I heard that game is mad buggy, bro. From colors, and I actually like that Sonic game, so I'm kind of sad that they did that. But um, what I'm gonna say real quick about um the drill thing too, like um yeah, like like for me, I actually like the concept. Like, you know what? Remember Piccolo was explaining that Vegeta can't win because he can't sustain fighting that hard, that ferociously. With each move, he uses up stamina. Their androids, their stamina is unlimited. Like that was honestly good, good enough for me. If you could find a way to make that work with the power to, um, difference or gap, but or like you said, give them the nodes too. So while they're absborbing Kamehameha's and stuff, they're getting exponentially stronger. Yeah, to right. To that yeah, that See, that's, that's for what me. I thought. Yeah, I thought his original designs with him absorbing energy made a lot more sense than yeah. what they were. Yeah. Like, I'm not mad at them having unlimited energy, but being a legendary Super Saiyan should have made up the big difference for that. Like, like basically, what Trunks did in the future to them, that's what Vegeta should have did in the present. That's what it made no sense mm-hmm. to me. That was, like, a big jump. And then, you know, we all laugh at, like, in Super, like, fucking Android 17 was training in like, the night. This is what she said, training the woods with animals and was the strongest, almost a blue Super Saiyan. Like, come on, man. <laughs> like, like that, mm-hmm. That's crazy talk. But, yeah. Um, that's just See, but that's just Tori. That's just Toriyama too. See, that, that's what I say. The thing about Toriyama is Toriyama really, honestly, he never lies to you. And the reason he never lies to you is because he never wrote any rules in the first place regarding <laughs> any of his powers. Mm-hmm. He on. gives he gives lore behind the explanation of transformations to a certain extent, or for most things. He goes too far but, sometimes with those S cells. That was stupid. Yeah, 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 yeah. But for the most part, though, he never, he never, he never, he never body, he never puts himself in a box because he never gives himself any rules. Yeah. It's freeing, and that's why he can get away with a lot of stuff. That doesn't mean I like it all, mm. but that's why he can do that. And that's why the other series that if you're gonna if you're gonna set a set of rules, I feel like you should follow them unless you come up with a really clever or creative way to 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 go past them. Yeah. But you gotta be a really good writer for that, like Kurigam or some shit like that. It'll be that level. Okay. 
My, uh, let me see something. Uh, yeah, I could, yeah, yeah, I could just finish Kubera. I think I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a discussion with him. I don't know if I'm gonna record it or do it on stream, but like I need some. I've been trying to have a Kubera discussion for so long since it's fresh in his head. Since he caught up, I'm ready to talk about it. Like I'm trying to have, I'm trying to have Kubera discussions every week, dog. I need to talk about this shit. I'm dying over here, but um. Gohan said in DBS he wanted to focus on a new form. The rap Gohan is not serious. I'm not even gonna read the rest of that. He's a fucking clown. Um, I respect it. Have you read Tokyo Ghoul before? I read it. I finished Tokyo Ghoul. I the finished, first one. You didn't read. I didn't. I didn't get too far in re re. I must have only been maybe like 36 chapters in, give or take. No more than 40. It could have been more than 40. And that might be. I might be giving myself too many chapters. <laughs> um, I wasn't feeling re. No, but. Well, I, but I, I got far enough for the highest thing to be revealed to be thing, though. So I don't know how far that was. Like, I, I'd gone that far, at least. Oh, okay. But I'm, I'm, Tokyo goes cool. I mean, it's not really my cup of tea to that degree. So it's, it's, it's whatever to me. Yeah, because Townsy, when I watched you play, sometimes when you when you got the wisps, the, the, the music went out. So, but when I was playing at my friend's house... I clip I clipped through a couple of um solid ground shit too, so like it was buggy for me, but like I have the OG colors, so I'm not even tripping like that though. But um Curry Gum discussions keep talking dirty to me. Yeah, like you know, like I'm ready for that, so let's get that popping. So there's so much to talk about. And like I'm just over here on my own. That's why I can't that's why I can't talk about it. That's that's why well that's why I refuse. Cause I'm not gonna sit here to y'all and sound like a dummy because I don't remember no, like that's, I legit how, no, that's how I no, that's how I feel sometimes because I'm like, yo, you guys, un you have to understand that this is the one series that you guys understand better than I do for the time being. I'm a, a will surpass all of you, but for now, you guys are more knowledgeable <laughs> about it than I am. <laughs> so when they ask the me this, this deep, what do you think that thing meant? I'm like, I don't fucking know, nigga. Damn, leave, <laughs> give me a chance. You play on the spot here. Talk about what did you think about the sin of indifference and uh, being a boss? And I was like, you know, <laughs> I just sit there uh, like. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. And what I like too was because. I'm like... oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, so I was like, I'm like 11 chapters behind. So if we, if I catch up, I, I don't mind doing like discussions with you as well during like the new chapters. But you know, yeah. But 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 Vince, is, Vince knows he has to get his knowledge back up because that's a series you don't want. You really can't. Yeah, you really you can't. can't fumble on that. Everybody, every everybody who follows Kubera knows just as much, if not more, than you do. Can't be out lacking out there. Listen, yeah, yeah. you just gotta give up then. You, you know why? And I, and I don't know why this was bad. I tried to do a character tier list, and if we're if it wasn't like an obvious character, I'm like, I don't know who this is. Who is this? See? <laughs> I See? said, who That's... is this for at least twenty characters on that list, bro? I I don't remember. I could probably remember faces. I couldn't remember names. So there's faces. Like there's faces I remember, or I could tell you what clan, what Sora clan they belong to. But I was just like, um. Yeah, I don't know what this is. <laughs> They're like, yo, this is the guy from the the Night It Rain Fire. I'm like, bro, why do you think I remember this nigga? <laughs> when a terror got attacked the first time, season one, bro, I don't remember him. I don't remember him. <laughs> season one, chapter 56, page three, you know. <laughs> like, I can remember Sagara's, like, you know, Cloffy and, cl and Clush and all of that. I can remember them by the face, but if you ask me to name them, I don't fucking remember them. They're just Sagara's niggas. Like, I don't, I don't think about them like that, so... I already spec like, uh, myself. There's way too much info to remember and want to read. Yeah, it's like Tower of God and other series that's or like or stuff like this. It's very dense with info. What you, like it's one of those series at a minimum you need to read twice with the foreknowledge you have because with the foreknowledge you have, when you revisit so many other scenes, it's gonna be recontextualized for you and you're gonna notice so much more. Like I remember like certain moments when like Jesus Christ, like the Kaz Kaz avoiding death. And like Asha walking by early, so like so certain things you're gonna pick up on now with the fort knowledge you have. It's one of those series, so it's gonna be really good. I can't wait to do my reread properly. So yeah, reread has to happen, hundred percent. It's just there's not enough. What it, Vince? Why is it only twenty four hours in a day? <laughs> yeah, that's it for real. Uh, yeah, so it is what it is. Yeah, I'm def and definitely the my my entire year was supposed to be rereads of, of stuff, and I just kind of. Just turned, just tired, burnt out, mm -hmm. and have no energy to do none of that, and that, and that's, and that's my mm -hmm. problem. That's why I said re reading manga weekly, especially. I don't have the energy to do. 
I don't have the energy to discuss with y'all or the or I'm just not excited enough for anything currently happening and ongoing to be like I want to talk about this every week. I, I don't. Kamara, I do. Golden Camry, I'm sure if I was cut up, I'd want to too. But that's not a series that I have How to get. I have to get some people, bro. The last time that we spoke was was it? They got were they in the cathedral? And there was the picture I seen. Oh. Like I'm, it's been a while, bro. It's been a while. It's been a while. You, you know, you know, what my, yeah, you know what my problem. You know, what my problem is too. I read more. I read more series than the average person. A lot of people read five series and they just keep up with them five series for like the entire year, and occasionally step out on those. I was reading like five different series a month, like no joke. Nigga, in my in my prime, every Might day I was reading at least ten different manga, and that's just manga. Don't forget that I always read comics and always read webtoons. I just cannot sustain that level of effort and energy anymore. There's shit that I love to death. I love Diano Ace. I have not read that shit in two months. Exactly, and also when I when I catch up to something, a lot of times I put it down to go to the next thing. Yo, he's not wrong. I'm notorious for catching up, and that's it. <laughs> I don't, yeah. I don't follow up. I haven't even gotten through as much as Purple Heist as I want to. I have actually been reading a bit off off screen, but I haven't gone as far as I wanted to be. I want to be caught up already. If I'm keeping it keeping it in stack, so I get it. Yo, Raijin, take this in. Cause you talk about forgetting names. When I finished reading Tokyo Ghoul, I couldn't remember Ken Kaneki's name. I couldn't remember his name. I could just okay. remember Suzuya. And I blame I blame Kyle for a stitched off phase, but still, I could not remember anyone's name except Suzuya. I said, "Yeah, what's the MC name again?" You're like Ken. I'm like, "Oh shit, that's bad." Yeah. Ken. <laughs> yeah, I started name, watching Golden Camry. It's pretty Ken? good. Yes. yes. Golden Cam we gang. And then even for hardcore leveling, because Zodiac is like, yo, you gonna do that stream, we're good that video, but bro, I caught up to where I was before. <laughs> okay, this is where I was at. I got a couple times after it, never read it again. I'm so fucking wild. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> bro, like 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 reading, like I just look at my Annie list. Uh, there's like a there's there's stuff on here that I know there, there there's manga out there that I know I forgot. I can't even add it to stuff like this. I'm looking at the readings like 160, completed 129. I'm like, man, it's probably like 50. 60 manga that like I don't even remember the names of that I read sometime somewhere in the past five years. I don't never remember the names. You want to know how bad it's gotten for me sometimes? There's times where someone's recommended me a manga that I've already read and I get like 10 chapters. I'm like, wait a minute, I've read this. Yeah, yep, yeah. <laughs> I I, I'll that. never forget. I think this happened <laughs> the first time it happened to me, I think it was like 2019 or maybe. And they must have used a Japanese name maybe for Flame Rekka or something. And I'm like, I read, I read this shit. What the fuck? <laughs> I yeah. like six for the but I, I read mean, this. I'm like, why is it so I familiar? Like... <laughs> yeah, people put people put me on webtoons, and I went further beyond than pretty much everybody else did. Big Ethan, Lucky Coin Syndicate, gang, gang. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, you're good, you're good. I, I was reading stuff that nobody else was reading. I was going out of my way. I did. Next thing you know, it's just like I haven't touched a webtoon other than Tower God in like a year, damn dear. Like I was reading Windbreaker, Code Atom. Trump, Kubera, Sub Zero, Lemonade, Stray Soul, Not Even Bone. Like I'm reading like everything on that site. That's so thought was semi interesting. You know how many I'm reading now? Tower God. And the only reason I read Tower God because he makes videos on it. <laughs> That's, That's a, it. That's why. I if he wouldn't even make videos on it, I don't even think I'd be reading. Or rarely. Yeah, hardcore leveling or yeah, yeah. Uh, see, 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 I can feel you on that, man. It's just like, bro. Like cheapy reviews, even did a video on that. He said, "Bro, I'm glad. Oh, like this shit. I mean, that's good. It's the community is growing, and that's it. Hardcore leveling warrior is actually the cool. It's my favorite. Like, real world meets a video game world. Probably series that I've read and whatnot. I like the characters. Shout out to um, wow, I read father name Ar armies, shit, pioneer slash out though. Nah, I like holding cameras. A good watch. Immortal Sukumoto, a real one. Surumi, oh, su man, that." Oh. Let me, I'm, I'm saying that. Go, go, and man, the go, backstories man. all kind of yeah. hit. Yeah, I actually like the anime too. I do think the manga is much better, and I still, I still, yeah, Hermes. There you go. I thought it was Hermes for like I thought it was Hermes for some reason. He's my favorite character still. But um, I was gonna say, I don't remember how much the anime kind of skips and stuff, but I will still suggest that you read it at some point. But I did really like the third season. I still enjoy the anime, but I also read the manga so I could supplement whatever they skip or shift in my own brain, like. I'm, I've always been good at doing that. And if I really care about the series, I almost don't even need you 
I don't, even, I, don't, I don't need the dialogue. You know what I realized I was sick in the head for that? It was Monica Targa. I've told the story before, but I don't know if you guys have heard me say this, but, but you guys have heard about it. But like, Kizu Monogatari came out, and whoever originally did the first sub group who did it for it, they were a troll subgroup. They would not, they would, they would not like, sub, they would not translate certain lines. And then like at one point when Hanikawa was like, when was asking Aragi for his number, she said, "Do you play Pokemon Go?" But I knew it. I corrected. I laughed because in my head, I'm like, I know exactly what she's actually saying. Because I've re- at that point, Kizu Monogatari was the only light novel out. I had read it like six times. There was no, you, no matter what scene was happening, I'm like, oh, this is this. Oh, here we are. Oh, shit. Episode came through. Oh, shit. Dumbo. Like, it, it could have fooled me. Even though they was had them troll ass subs. I was like, bro, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know why they're doing this, but it was so easy for me to just ignore it. I So, that was funny. Funny story. So, Rumi's <laughs> a great antagonist. He's one of my, he's literally one of my favorite in the manga. It's not a joke. Go- I, need, I need to talk mm, about it one day. But yeah. Um, Golden Camry stream. 2023. <laughs> uh, 2022. Oh, man, I watched like four or five episodes of Black Money Guitar get back onto it. Come on, dog. You do. But at your own time, at your own leisure when you can. Because I know how life I gets, do man. forget. Yeah. Because, like, uh, I be I, forgetting. Yeah, I want to reread some stuff too, though. Like, I want to re. I really want to reread Gintama. Go. Greatest series ever. And I haven't I'm read Madoka Box in a couple of years. I want to reread that too, but fuck. Will, that, will it happen, man? Who's the creator of Monogatari again? <laughs> Nisio. 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 Well, he's a writer. Yeah, I forget you're a super fan of him. Yeah. yeah, I forgot you're a super fan of him. Yeah, I, I forgot you'd be like, Monogatari is your favorite series. You, you realize- See, that's enough. I don't even have any damn super stand of anymore. No. Yeah, I don't. No, you, no, Nisio Ishun, I legitimately think is a genius. But you, but you know me though. Like I have a, I have, I have huge reverence for great writers. So that's how I am. So I feel that it's kind of my, it's kind of my area of expertise, if you will. Like I'm not good at many things, but I understand writing. I feel that, yeah. So. <sighs> or I should say, I have, no, I have, I'm not a super stand of anything that's come out in recent like. Yeah, like I'm a long time Nisio Ishun fan from 2008. <laughs> you know, like when yeah. when Death Note. Another note, the Los Angeles BB murder cases came out. That's the first thing for me that I ever read. And I'm like, this was fucking brilliant. What the fuck? What the hell's going on? Yeah, Death Note Go. Who's this what nice who's this nice Yosin guy? <laughs> yeah. I seen Madaka Box and then it was that was really it, all I ever took. And then I just, you know, I went through all of it. Uh Zade Goto, Pretty Boy Detective. Um what's the other two that I forget? Uh, um the Forgetful Detective. Uh, Monogatari, Katana Katari, Zodiac Wars, or Juni Tice City, my note is that. Like, I'm just, um, Ill Boy, Ill, Ill Boy, hey. whatever girl, Ill Girl, Ill Boy. I, remember, I don't know what the actual English proper translation for that is, but yeah, like, I've checked out all his one shots. <laughs> I feel like a good video you could make was like a, like a ranking of all of those things, like which ones you favor, or like seeing which, you know, ranking all of them, but I don't know. That would be a dope video. Oh, you mean all the Niso Ishin series? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not a bad like idea. Like other ones you read. That's not a bad idea, but yeah. Not that. The gold manga? Yeah, Lock-a-box. you know. Well, no, Lock Box has my favorite manga character of all time in it. But yeah. Don't worry, you'll get to Gintama soon. Yo, Gintama, I haven't watched Gintama the final or the last Evangelion movie. Like, I'm washed, dude. I did finally watch <laughs> Suicide Squad and the long Halloween part one and two with Glam, so that was good. I'm gonna finish it before the stream then. <laughs> Gorilla Sensei, I dropped Gintama after the Cursed Sword arc. The arc was super good. I just got tired of the episodic comedy nature of the episodes. I can't speak on the anime because I was more of a manga reader. So I couldn't tell you. Maybe whenever I start build, buying shit from my library, should I get the Light Novels Mono Guitar over the anime? Yes. Yes. Plus, you can get the box set. I actually saw it in chapters. Somebody ripped it open and stole the poster though. Because low key, <laughs> I, I, I was finna kind of. I was, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Someone got it where I could get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I see that shit. I said, "Damn it! It's already over. Who did it? Who did it? Who took the poster?" <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I saw it and I was like, "Hmm, I just wanna, you know, I just wanna, you know what I'm saying." But I was already open. Like, all right, you know what? It is what it is. That was, that was God protecting me or some shit. I don't know. So. <laughs> Death Note is nice and all, but Code Geass greater than greater greater than Sun Death Note. I don't I I don't I don't agree with that, but I I don't care to fight you on it though. 
Well, I love both of them. I, I love both of them. So you could say either or. The problem is, is that Coke Geass most of season two is yeah, but the ending say <laughs> in a movie. But I actually like Akito the Exiles more than I like the series. I won't lie to y'all. I enjoyed the fuck out of that. I don't know why. I just did. Thought it was raw. But um. See. I don't know, like, I, I I always want these opportunities to kind of talk about more series and branching out, but A, I don't want to make the channel too scattered. I can't handle all those things, and, and a lot of times, too, it's like, a lot of things that I really am into, people don't, like, if I start coming on here talking about Dirty Pair, nigga, who's listening to me? I don't give a fuck about yeah. Dirty Pair or Bubblegum Crisis. <laughs> I mean, that one I thought, dirty you, pair I thought you did a really, I thought you, I thought you did a really good thing when you, um, when you did your little read-ins of the five webtoons. That was cool. It had to be something. It had to be something like that. It had to be something you do like once a month or once every month. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, it's not something you could do every week. Mm -hmm. Not a bad idea. <laughs> I need to watch Code Geass. So I'm like, ah, Code Geass. I don't know if you need to. Nah, you don't. <laughs> That's for you anyway. Mm -hmm. Fun fact: Sodachi taught Nisu everything, Nisu everything he knows. So how come he not? How come he not that funny then? I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, Yuri and K out. Shout out to K. You see, Yak knows. Yak on that. Dirty, be on a dirty prayer away. That shit gas, man. Cause he, I, I feel like for that thing. No, I was gonna just say I feel like for that thing about like scattered things. I feel like you'd have to probably just do like one overall thing, or like you know, like if it's like light novels, just like a one overall light novel. Oh, I heard you say. Yeah. And we could we have to do that index one. I mean, what? Why don't give me your schedule kind of, and we'll just do it on a Wednesday or something. We'll do it. We'll talk about index. This <laughs> <laughs> is the most book day I am, man. Oh but. shit. Well, cause I said I said that because it's, it's it's the day in the week that I have the most. It's fine. It has to be, it has to be Wednesday. Actually, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Actually, I could do. It. Uh, I'd have to be after six though, but I could do it. Huh? I'm crestfallen. Yeah, <laughs> true, man. Nah, yeah, me and you could do the dirty pair stream together. I forgot. You, I, I remember that you got into it too. I'm so happy you enjoyed it because it's just like it's one of those things that I love with all my heart. So I watch it all the time, and no one fucking cares. <laughs> Nobody cares a damn. Like when Simi bought me those. The fucking the 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 the, the bubble gum crack. I was like, yo, that's I can't believe I own this shit now. It's on the shelf, fam. Like it's there. Like I love like eighties anime goes so hard, bro. I don't care about y'all new nigga shit. I don't. It don't move me. It don't move You're me. You're not moved. I'm unmoved by Yaiba, the movie. <laughs> Kyoshira. I don't give a fuck, Nick. JJK, dirty pair. Plus, they don't That's a fun that much. Uh, I don't care for giant robots. It don't interest me in the slightest. Um, I learned to... Ex I, I, I can never call myself a mecha guy, but I've learned to enjoy it. You know? That, does that make sense? Like, I started off with mostly non-Gundam series. So, the first mecha that I truly fell in love with was um, Topo Tank and Gurren Lagann. Then it was... Probably Neon Genesis Evangelion a couple of years later, probably 2012. I actually, I don't remember what year um, Topa Teng and Girl Again came out. I want to say 07. You know what? It's the 21st century. I can just check. Give me a sec. Topa Teng and Girl Again. It's 07. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a guess because I'm smart. I was right. Oh, I was right. You're, well, April, April 1st, <laughs> 2007. When the common of things happened... I didn't watch it for two years. I was that mad. So I came back in probably 2009-ish. And then I finished it. I'm like, this was raw. And then I went to Neon Genesis Evangelion. Then, what was, like, I can't remember. It was after that. Then I got into Gundam Seed Destiny and, and, and wait, Seed, then Seed Destiny and then some other ones, but... Ultimately, I haven't checked out too much Mecha. I messed with some Transformers. I like Mecha Cadet U actually for a comic book that I liked. So just a lot of Mecha series that I do enjoy. Neon Genesis and Topo Tekken Girl again are some of my favorite series in general. But I can't say that I'm a guy who gets hyped when I see people in the Gundam. It's not it just it don't move me, bro. But I could read Mecha. I have no problem with it though. <clears throat> Gundam. Gundam, Nick. Uh. So, I'm not, yeah, pretty. I'll give it a chance. Cool guess is more about the characters and plot, though. Yada, yada, yada. Fair enough. No CGI in Code Geass. There's CGI in uh, Akito the Exile, though. I heard Iron Blood Orphans is good. I've watched um one, uh, the, the, one a couple episodes with Alan. I was unmoved, but it's one of those things where, like, 
You ever watch something and you're like, oh, I get the appeal. It's not for me, though. It's one of those ones. Yeah. A lot of this new seasonal anime don't interest me, especially over half of them are Isekai. I don't even, I don't even know what's out anymore. That's how bad it's got. Good genre. <clears throat> I see. I dropped Tur- Gurren Lagann when I was in middle school and never went back. Fair enough. It was because of the, copy- the Kamina? Yeah, 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 yeah. Robots the movie night committed to c- catching up to the GOAT manga Fire Force and build up endurance from there. You see, I miss reading Fire Force because Okubo is one of my favorite visual storytellers from the manga medium and I actually like it. I don't, I don't, I never cared whether or not people fight to think it's good or not good. I have my reasonings for liking it. As a Soul Leader fan, I still think that man is a genius that's telling his story from a visual standpoint. You're not the writing, but visually, man, the way he could capture that insanity. And so stop playing with me. He's nice. The fact that he has all these characters have fire and heat related abilities and he's gotten this creative to me is fucking impressive. I give credit where credit is due. You can call it dumb because of the girl who gets naked and this and that, blah, blah. I'm not gonna fight you. Me? I give a fuck what you think. I have a great time when I read Fire Force. Shout out to Benny Maru, Nick. But um, but yeah, robots don't move me. I feel that. Wait, are you Mecha guy at all, Vince? Uh, Mecha? Eh, not really. Like you dabble. Only to a certain extent. Honestly, Mega XLR did more for me for Mexican <laughs> than almost anything else, man. Uh, anime itself, no, because I I get it. I understand why Gundam fans be all offended and doing all that, but like, give it a break. Like, you'll be all right. Everybody wants to see human society, yada yada, whatever on Mars with these giant robots. Like, it just mm-hmm. wasn't it. Fire Lit yeah. Force, baby. Fire Force. I watched a new anime since the summer started. I mean, Titty Force. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, yeah. Man. But uh, oh, I hope I hope to get unwashed. I actually am I'm I'm I'm, I'm writing down a lot of the comics and issues I need to get well, get by read. So I've been I've been getting, I'm getting get back into my comics. I'm probably gonna just do a reread of everything on my shelf first though, just because I can. But especially for monstrous, I want to start having some monstrous discussions. Um, and I want There's to a lot of reading. Yeah, but I remember, it's, easy, it's easier for me because I don't have to do it on the computer. I own the volumes. I, I get to it much faster that way. That's it. I can't explain it. Like, having it in my hand. Oh, yeah. oh, yes, Talon, he's a monstrous nigga now. How could I? How dare I forget that? How dare I? I'm a fraud. I'm a fraud. I'm a fake friend. I'm going to fix that. So, yeah, we're going to get Talon in there. We're going to have Vince. We're going to have Yak. Oh, yeah, it's going to be great. Oh, baby, we're going to be talking, discussing. Yes, sir. Shout out to Kippa, my daughter. You already know. Kippa. Kippa. She, yo, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love her. Kippa just, Kippa's just trying to get through life without you know? getting hurt. And Micah just, That's Micah it. just angry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, Micah exactly, just exactly. angry, my nigga. Like, Kippa's like, can you calm down, please? Maybe a little bit? Like, any? Like, okay. Oh, God, yeah. Because Kippa, Kippa, Kippa could have been out of here right now. Kippa could have ran away. Could have been a loyal, but mm-hmm. they're here. Yeah, it could have been. But yeah, oh, but yeah. Kippa, Kippa, that Kippa go, man. I'm so I'm happy to like Talzi Yakko in the chat. They got my back. You see, no one else know about no monstrous. Yeah, what's it me say? Y'all know nothing about that. So yeah, who hopped in? What does she got guitar? All right, look, look Frieza that, arc, Frieza saga better than Android saga. Let's talk about it. Ah. Well, I know you. I know. Well, I, I don't know. Are you in a book club too, or whatever? I know you. I think you were yeah, saying yeah. Cell Saga. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I'm kind of. I'm kind of on Vince's side. With I'm on Vince's side, and it's funny because his argument is actually very similar to my argument ah. <laughs> about that. But then again, Pat's a guy who told me that Vegeta didn't beat Goku. Pat, on, Pat on Earth. Wrote, he, Pat, he beat Pat his ass. What are you talking bro. about? <laughs> he beat bro, what are you story. talking about? Goku couldn't move, nigga. <laughs> He was Chris. He Chris, what, what's the what's the joke they made in um yeah, bridge he, he had, in he a had bridge? Turn into what's, a, he had on, to turn into on. a giant monkey. Hold on, what's the opposite of Christopher Walken? And he stomped on him and he said Christopher Reeves. <laughs> okay, <laughs> 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 that's a bad joke, bro. I got I laughed so hard when I heard that. But, but yeah, I mean, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead though. Why why is the Cell Saga goat though? Why is, why is Cell Saga goat? Yeah, yeah. Because this is a culmination of several things in Goku's 
past when he was a child coming back up to catch up with him. Uh-huh. When the nigga took out the Red River Army, he did that shit pretty much on a whim because they wronged one of his friends, but he didn't finish the job. So then what happens? Dr. Jerome, you leave out that joint, you make androids. Oh, and then... <laughs> you make hold androids. On, let's, we make androids. <laughs> All right, go, hold on, hold on. Go ahead, but man. then, not only did Dr. Jerome make androids, he had contingency plans. It was like I told Vince, he was doomsday planning. Even with as powerful as Android 17 and 18 were, he still kept in mind that Goku's potential for growth is astronomical. So what he do? He had a supercomputer that made cells, that had the cells of all the greatest fighters on Earth, including Frieza, my nigga. And his design yeah, no for perfection, cell. his design for perfection made it so that he had to absorb 17 and 18 to reach his perfect form. And Wait this... a minute. So, real quick, though. I'm sorry for cutting you off. Okay, go ahead. Wouldn't, go ahead. Would, wouldn't that be kind of silly, though? If, if, if your contingency plan is to have a being that needs 17 and 18 to be perfect and Goku destroys them, doesn't that defeat the purpose? It do. <laughs> 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 I, 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 I respect it. I respect it. He's, saying, man. He's honest. Yeah. I'm not mad at that at all. <laughs> I keep going. <laughs> but in the end, it ended up being fruitful because Cell reached his perfect form. And Goku ended up entrusting the future to Gohan. And we had seen glimpses of Gohan's potential from the beginning of Dragon Ball Z. I love when things come. Hey, hold on now. I heard you. <laughs> <laughs> I lean. I lean back when I said that a little bit too. I was like, <laughs> I said that with no bass in my voice. <laughs> I'll talk about that. Uh, it's my turn. I, I love when things get teased in front of me, mm-hmm. and then later on down the line, we get like something that we have been waiting for. Like I don't know. It's just Gohan becoming a Super Saiyan to learn the Cell games. It's something like extremely magical about it. No, no, no. Like, I, it is. You hundred percent correct. Yeah, because it's like since he was a child, every time this nigga Gohan get mad, his Zenkai boosts go crazy. Like his power just skyrocket, but it always lasted for like twenty seconds, thirty seconds. Yeah. And the other people that like were his allies would just be watching it all like, what the fuck? That nigga was stronger than me just now. Like, how did that happen? Yeah, he did. He did it. I'm not gonna lie. He did it right when it came to that. If if that is how you're gonna set the the table for somebody being overpowered and you know kind of cleverly, this is what I talked about earlier. Cleverly like making somebody overpowered or using your power scale in to to do it. It's like that's how you do it. He teased it the entire series. Yeah, so once it goes Super Saiyan 2, it's like a gift and a curse. Because it's like, yeah, for Goku. It's a gift and a curse for Goku because it's like he was right about the potential that Gohan had. But because he had spent all his time, like, you know, fighting enemies, only caring about getting stronger and stuff, he didn't really understand what Gohan's real personality was. So it ended up coming back to bite him and Gohan in the ass because he died a second time. Mm. But I felt like there was something like really pure about that. Like, okay, you entrusted the fate of the world in your child's hands, and you were right. But at the same time, you made a mistake because it wasn't. It, he let it. Gohan let that shit go to his head. Like he, he wasn't ready to take on a mantle like that. He was nine years old. Yeah, and also I thought I think it was the best culminate to me personally it's my favorite other than kid goku is my favorite like characterization of goku like we've never seen like when goku came out the hyperbolic time chamber it's like he was different like mentally mm-hmm. I, I guess that i guess that's why i'm always I finally spent some fucking time with his kid i'm joking go ahead <laughs> you know, that's, i mean that, that part of that is true but like, I, I guess that's why i'd be so disillusioned with the goku from like super because the goku 
especially in the Android saga, when he came out of there, he was just like a completely different person. He had foresight. He had the ability to think like ahead in a different way, not just in battle, because we always know he's a genius in battle, but he was diff- he was thinking ahead on a different thing. He's like, you know what? I might not always be here, and I've died before. And my son... He's stronger than everybody. Like he, he might have even planned for even like the prospect of like, what, what if Vegeta gets stronger than me? Like, mm-hmm. it's not like it was like written in stone, but like Vegeta still wasn't like the best guy, even though he'd been on Earth for a while. Like, you know, and and they proved be right later in the Majin Saga when he tried to try to be evil again. But but it's like I I think he just I thought Goku was like a different level of like. Of, of just thinking and it's just like that's why i'm always like the guy on super it's like yeah you could say he's always been true to his character but that guy's annoying like i, I, don't, I don't like that guy so i'll, I'll say i'll say it like this the frieza saga like the end of goku's journey from childhood to adulthood like that's like a whole chapter of his life just done yeah. that's how i feel and then i look at the android saga as like everything that z was building up for gohan and gohan my favorite character so yeah, there, we have, there we have it yeah the real reason <laughs> it really everything is. i just it said is. before none was of, bullshit every, none of it none of that none of that shit mattered <laughs> go on go on beat cells ass we were saying two out no i'm kidding but um i honestly i really don't dislike the arc i really don't I don't honestly. No, I don't dislike any it, Dragon Ball arc except maybe the Boo Saga. But like, I don't. I I like the Boo Saga up until once Vegeta's sacrifice happens, and then I don't like. I'm it. I'm I'm there with you. I'm yeah, there. I think right we're, there all, we're all on the same page. I don't like. It. Mm-hmm. If it, if it ends right there, it's another ten for me. Okay. So yep. so, and I actually don't have a problem with the end of Z. It retroactively is ruined because Super is happening in between all this shit, so I can't take it seriously anymore. But I'm not going to... Ca- yep. That's that's neither here nor there. Different argument. Um, mm. Yeah, so I'm sure I'm sure Pat said... I'm Pat. I'm Pat um, Vince said this to you already, but my problem, even as a child, was me trying to wrap my head around some human nigga, use human beings as the very basis, <laughs> as the shell for the power he's going to contain... Created these <laughs> androids, and this shit is stronger than an alien, an alien super lord who's fucking selling planets. Than the legendary super saiyan, I couldn't buy it. I could even buy it if at least it was some type of symbiotic alien entity or body or something that he modified. My problem is it's human in the frame. A human? Cut that mm-hmm. out. To the, and I think that if they had the nodes, if Android 17 and 18 had the nodes like uh, Jerome and 20 did, I probably would have been fine because I'm like, okay, at least if you're absorbing the energy of these very strong creatures or characters, plus you do not get tired, I think that would have worked for me. I actually don't have a problem with Cell, all things considered. Cell's fine, I guess. Yeah, but, because it makes sense. Like I said, but the kid fine, thing but, actually makes sense. But 17 and 18, never. I hate them niggas. I hate them. So I just I, can't take them I, seriously. I cannot stand <laughs> them. I can't take any of them seriously. Shot the Krillin for getting, you know, the the um, the um viscous innards of the of, like, of 18. But, <laughs> but um nah, I just have to start writing to me. And the Frieza Saga, to me... Actually, no, I can't say that. I can't say that. I actually think Dragon Ball would be cool if it ended with the passing of the torch to Gohan. But I I know most people say Super Saiyan 2 for Gohan is like the Raj transformation. I don't think it's better than Super Saiyan 1. I don't think any transformation in Dragon Ball is as hype as Goku going Super Saiyan 1 the first time. That's just me, though. That's a, that's a personal thing. I don't care about that. Um... I totally get you. But Frieza for me is I remember maybe I've told you you've heard the story from from me before, but was the first antagonist I had ever really experienced, and I didn't think we could win. It actually put that despair into me, watching it as a child. Where yeah, I'm like, it was legit. I'm like, all right, you know, they come, blah blah. You know, well, first of all, Vegeta is my favorite, well, my second favorite character, and just seeing him go on that journey on now because raw, I loved it. I just loved it, just from or the chest from the first nigga he kills it. I was a little pool, Kui Kui, whatever fuck his name was. <laughs> Our power levels the same, you know, whatever fuck his name is. Beat his ass, the Doria loses Zarbon, then be, then beat Zarbon, and then you know, like all of that, Goldo, all of that. He was going crazy. Be killed Chase, everything. I loved it. Um. 
even his final moments I thought was perfect. The long ways of pride for giving it to, giving it to Goku because Frieza had to die by Saiyan Sam, blah, blah. I love all of that stuff. I even like the fact that Vegeta's warning came, to, came true. He's like, bro, all right, you're stronger than all these niggas. They don't play fair. They don't play fair. And what can you do? Snatch your blood clot body, you idiot. That's what you fucking get, right? So, I, I don't like Goku, I'm sorry. I can't stand that nigga sometimes. But, um, that's what you get. And he's like, well, shit, you should listen. But, um, yeah, freeze up. Like, okay, we're fighting him. Regina's doing his thing. Okay, he transformed over one million. Yikes. <laughs> Go on, get little mad. Blah, blah, blah. Piccolo come. Okay, third form. Yikes. And just because I can, final form. Nigga, nigga, beat the fighting spirit out of Vegeta. I'm scared. Huh. I'm Bro, scared. No that one, dialogue no one, yeah. right there, when it was like for the first time of Vegeta's life, he shed tears. I was like, oh, he that terrifying? He, he, Man. In his back? I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> this, shit is, this shit is sad to watch because you could just see like it's like bro i'm done man i've been fighting against this nigga my whole life it's over bro it's just cooked like you could like and i felt it like i wasn't mad at him for giving up you know mm. and then you're like goku's here okay he's doing it he's like i'm not even drawing that hard 50 percent. jesus christ survive the spirit bomb jesus christ okay super saiyan now it's 100 percent, nigga the fuck? <laughs> just, just, like, 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 so I can't, I can never get over that. Like Frieza was the first antagonist I ever witnessed that did that to me. I would argue second to some degree was Dark Side. Um, but Frieza, man, can never get over that. And that's why that arc will always be great for me, especially for Vegeta and Super Saiyan. This is Super Saiyan one back when they was nice and brolic too, not these little dinky twigs from B Shonen and shit. They was nice and big, brolic, chest out in the gym. Man. <laughs> and that kick, the kick you posted, the kick where he does against against Frieza, where he comes diving off the mountain and he misses Son. it, and he brings the other one. That kick lives in my head, rent free every fucking day. So I remember when I first read the manga for Dragon Ball. This was like several years after it's already on tsunami. I was like, let me let me read Dragon Ball manga see if it's any different. I saw that sequence. I was like, wait, why don't I remember this? Because I had already seen Dragon Ball like four times. Mm -hmm. And I pulled up the episodes. I was like, I looked at that shit. I was like, bro, they don't even show the kick. Why did the anime mess it up like this? The, the, and then... The remake did it better, I remember. Remake? They, they showed it. I was like, oh, it's 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 the kick. <laughs> right, they did that the first time I lost it. Oh, is this combo? <laughs> oh, shit. That's all right. All right, it's, it's my favorite action sequence in Dragon Ball Z. This nigga flew, you know, you bounced off the rock, came through with the obvious flying kick, Frieza dodged that shit like, you really think you're going to hit me with that? Yeah. Kick him with the other leg? You got oh the other God. leg like the, the goofy? This was the real, this was the real plan. Like, yo, that's what it was. But there's so many things about that arc too, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this. I actually think Goku was raw. For being like, no, power up, nigga. Go ahead. Do it. No excuses. Fine. Get your like, shoes. I, go warm up. Get your Gatorade. I don't care what you go with you what you gotta do. Get go get the, go see the chiropractor. I don't care what you do. Go get it. You're getting you're getting this work. That's raw. And I even somewhat respect we like, honestly, I'm done. I beat you. I'm good. I'm satisfied. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, yeah, a yeah. fucking yeah. monkey of all things. Cause, cause, yeah, cause he's like he's like, you know you lost. Like you can't beat you. Have no to what you have to live do. with that. Yeah, you know that's why it was raw. Yeah, that's why it was cool. So, See, go ahead. This is what I was trying to tell niggas in the group chat. They they hold different standards when Vegeta does the same exact thing that Goku does. When Vegeta lets Cell reach his perfect form, why y'all didn't have a problem when Goku let Frieza go one hundred percent? But because it's Vegeta, it's a problem. He lets Cell reach his perfect form. Bro, it's all the pure blood the same stick the same. It's raw. Yeah. They want to beat somebody with that at their best. See, That's because cause cause Goku get because Goku gets the ultimate. Like I said, Goku gets the win. That's what Goku like we like we said like we said in the group chat. Goku, well for me, I said Goku basically loses just as many fights as Vegeta does. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But, I told but he you gets that. the win at the end. That's the only difference. Okay, like, but Vegeta I, and Goku's have about the same amount of wins though. See, but Vegeta's losses just look like it's like this. 
Uh, well, well, this is this is not the greatest comparison, but it's the best comparison I have. Like, when Goku loses, it's like, oh, you know, like we lost by like six points, close game. <laughs> when Vegeta loses, it's like he beat by like twenty, nigga. Like he did that, like goddamn, nigga, you weren't even close. I like, would, I would argue that <laughs> I agree. The, the story tends to kind of go out its way to completely emasculate and embarrass Vegeta. Like yeah, Goku yeah. just lose and he lost, you know. Look at damn, it happens. With Vegeta, it's like, damn, you talked all that shit. You did that. You done turned around on Get Cell. And, like, it just looks yeah, worse. Yeah, like, yeah. So you, I, can tell, you can tell Toriyama has a certain level of disdain. Because, like, like, the shit with Android 18, like, come on, son. Yeah, like, the kick to the... Oh, uh, but I mean, but he, he was feeling himself, though. He had to be brought back down to Earth. No, no, see, see, but that's some, <laughs> shit, that, that's some, that's some shit that would never happen. Like, the closest we have to... Every time Goku has a loss like that, it's from a movie. Or it's not canon. No, no, no. Goku has some canon losses that are pretty bad. No, no, no. But I'm talking about, but just feel just like, damn, Goku, you went out like that. Like when Broly, like when we watched a movie and Broly fucking dragging that nigga, he's like, ah, he's doing all that screaming. You're like, oh my God, Goku, like, please. Like, Goku got to just like destroy. He's screaming for his life. Like, I'm like, oh my, that's the worst thing they ever said. And then, like, in uh, the Super 13 movie, like, he put that nigga in the nuts, nuts. and he lost the trans- super transformation. Made him go just, back to base form. Yeah, I, was like, I was like, damn. I don't give a crap yeah. about your $13 haircut, boy. Goku dies. That's the so great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, we, ain't never seen, we ain't never seen no shit like that. He put Goku in the nuts, and he, he dropped him out of transformation. Goku just hit the ground. <laughs> I was like, wow. I was like, what the fuck? Here's my problem with the Vegeta and Goku thing, honestly. Like, I, I understand nuance and stuff, so I don't get into the whole, like, crazy over-the-top Goku-Vegeta debate to that degree. My problem is that it came a point where I didn't think there was actually an in-story reason that made sense for Goku to be this much stronger than him or, like, outperform him this month. Especially since the story likes to insult my intelligence and constantly call Vegeta a combat genius, too. So I'm like, can you portray this? This is meaningless in text if I'm not seeing it all the time. And the thing about it is you see it too. Like, I know this is super, but even the Granola stuff. I like, I like how we fought Granola. I really did. And stuff like that. And he is a lot smarter than Goku, generally speaking. Just in a, in a general he, never, he never, he never, he never lets Vegeta rebel in a, in a, like, Vegeta has wins, obviously. Yeah. He never lets Vegeta rebel in a high power win. The Boo... The, the second, the, the Frieza golden one. Because when he told Frieza, never resurrect yourself again, mm-hmm. and he had to beam out, he should have won. Like, why would you take that? That was the culmination of years that, that and decades of wins. That was, and you didn't give that to him? That's so fucking, that's just so wrong. No, I agree so with you. That was problems. foul from that movie. And to the point where I'm like, I would have even been okay if you brought him back with Whis's thing, and Vegeta still does it. Goku's like, yo, he's going to pull the planet up, and he's like, hmm, whatever. Coward, big bang attack and kill him. Goku just come and then like, bro, that's so mid to me. So. That, that, that's why I had enough. That's what. That's why I really quit. And then, they, then they did. Then they did the. Um, and then, and then they follow it up. They gave me hope again. Then they did the mm-hmm. Goku Black thing, where it's like Vegeta was fighting for his son for the first. Like, like Vegeta has so many arts where it's just like <laughs> Vegeta has so many arts where it just looks like like he it, it, he never seen they never seem to give him the full payoff for the culmination of the arc he just went. The only thing we have to that is at the end of the Buu saga where he admits that Goku was the best. But other than that, he doesn't give him no payoff in an actual fight as far as the full characterization of what he just went. I mean, I don't necessarily agree with that for Z at least, but for Super, I definitely agree. Mm-hmm. I, I, I thought I thought I thought Vegeta's fight versus loss versus hit was bad. Compared to what Goku did, I just didn't like that. That just made no. No, I, I, I was okay with that. I was okay with that because nobody knew hit hit power, and Vegeta went first. Nah, so that but similar makes sense. But Goku was blocking the time skip in base form. Like that just did. I just didn't make sense to me, bro. I just can't. But again, su- I I don't even try to make sense of Super. So it is. Yeah, like, I don't either. So, I don't either. Super is just um, sensible fun for me. Mm. I turn my brain off all the way off. Yeah. Dragon Ball. I bring me on Dragon Ball Z. I turned it off a little bit. Super, <laughs> he, he toggles. He toggles it to like a to like a seven. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, like I said, like I like I said, like 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 I said, you can kind of forgive a lot of stuff they did, Toriyama, because he he gives you like semi reasonable explanations for most of it. Not yeah. all of it, but for most of it, you're just like, okay, fine. Like I can deal with that. 
And I think that happens to a certain extent for a lot of stuff. Like here, okay, like here's something I believe. Just, 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 just follow me here. Do you do you? Does anyone else think believe that Vegeta should be faster than Goku? Considering that he came from Van Vegeta and spent a lot of time on more more heavy gravity, and he did a lot of gravity oh, yeah. training. Like, yeah, yes. you know what I'm saying? Like, I I would I almost I like I understand the the ultra instinct mindset is different. So for ego or whatever, like you have to clear your mind. So maybe that's not for Vegeta and stuff. But like I'm like. Even from a, just a speed standpoint, I feel like Vegeta should have a, a speed. I think that Vegeta should have a speed advantage at the very least. Like, there's just so many things that I'm, at some point I'm like, yo, like this man, this man has armor on, <laughs> always. <laughs> like, what? And also, also, also makes me feel worse. I'm like, yo, Goku just in, he just, he's in a t-shirt, you know, a gi. Like, you get a photo, but you're supposed to be having this Saiyan battle armor on, modified by Bulma. Like, it just, like, it's never, it's, it's like, I don't know, man. For some reason with Vegeta, it just never looks the same. It never comes across the same. It always seems worse. Even though I agree with, like, if you really take it in and you look at it from a nuanced standpoint, they're actually pretty similar. And even though Pap doesn't like to admit it, Vegeta 2-0 against Goku. So. 2-0? 2-0, baby. Wait, where'd the second one come from? Um, Buu Saga. I had W's a W. I'm not ah. saying Goku was strong. Goku was stronger. <laughs> he had a form there. Who told his guard down? It's a W, bro. Ah. The W's did a w, they not bro. agree to stop fighting? And then Goku let his bitch ass guard down. What did what did he what did he, ah. what did he do to what did he do to Murder when he let his guard down? He jabbed him in the fucking nose, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Keep the same energy, little nigga. <laughs> Oh my God! This nigga wild in today. He said two and oh. I was ready to hey, fight. Hey, what's Crocodile going against Luffy? Two and one, baby. Come on, let's go. That's true. Winning that's true. record against the goat. All right. <laughs> hey, that's bad. That's bad. Luffy. Luffy got out of that because of old people and water and shit. Crocodile did his job. He couldn't plan for that. <laughs> More of course, of course, but the, the third time Marino. that Luffy fought him, he knew all his tricks. He wasn't supposed to survive the first mm. two. <laughs> yes, bro. Two and one. You already know. And yeah, more than Lee's hates Baruna, and um, then Asha hates Lee's and Lee's hates. I don't know. Asha. I don't know about. I don't know about that. Well, yeah. I don't know if Toriyama hates more than, than no, 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 Asha. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't think so. But I just... no, no. I read the co- I read the oh, comments. No. I don't know about that. <laughs> Asha different. That's mm. different. That's a different level of hate, right there. Yeah. Y'all ain't never seen that before. <laughs> but yeah, and and Luffy's all against five, all, all in five against. <laughs> yeah, I stretch, I stretch that. It's really like three to win a half. It's like zero and three, but I, and three. I'm cool with three. But like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, but um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what's going on with Super right now. I don't know if a new chapter came out, but I'm not paying attention. So, oh yeah, you're not, you're not, you, you don't like Granola the goat, man. I don't like Toyotaro. That's fine. That's fair. He, made... he doesn't know what he's doing. He did some and... cool stuff here and there, but it's, he always drops. The, he always drops the ball on him. You know what? The way he he's crazy. Lost Goku I... is so ugly to me. But I like. I like how he makes Vegeta fight though. I'm, I'm lying. I like how he fight in this, in this one fight. I don't know. I think... Goku. The... Go because oh because like, like I was saying, Pat. I don't know if you heard me to say. I said Toriyama always did all his arts good. Basically, no matter yes, how you feel always. about the totality of the arc, his arcs always end good. I feel the opposite for Tortora. All his arcs start good, and they <laughs> all end badly, <laughs> tragically. So, nah, yeah, he can't, he can't win mm-hmm. with me. Yeah. Um, by the way, the, the last One Piece chapter was good. It was solid. I had no problem. I, I thought it was really good. I like it. We're on break now, finally, right? So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, like I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Seeing that nigga Luffy just on one more like that, <laughs> yo. Plus he's ready. Plus he's on. He's on the like I I have I have like the the captain cloak around my shoulder type B flow. I'm like, bro, don't hype me right now, dog. Like we having a dragon battle. This shit is so gassed. And and um. <laughs> The the title Twin Dragons is so dope. I seen I think it was Rogers base. I'm sorry if it's wrong. I seen his um his his thumbnail. He used the double dragon video game and put Momo and Kaido. I wish I thought about that. I'm so mad I didn't think of that before. I'm pissed <laughs> off. And I love double dragon. But fuck. That was a great thumbnail. That was so good. I'm so upset he did that. He he, he won. He won. Roger Base won with that one, bro. That was good. Thank you. Kaido said, "There's not enough room for more than one dragon." Yeah. Nick, 
God. Said, my too many conquerors. Too many conquerors. Too many dragons. Nah. <laughs> my testosterone. Why does Kaido have so much raw dialogue? Mm, twin dragons. I don't get it. 25. 10, 5. Oh, shit. I didn't even take that in. Hey, we got a superior form, though. <laughs> the superior form is uh, hybrid. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I don't know. What the, I don't. I don't know what the community was saying about the chapter. Oh, oh that's what you're talking about. Okay, Snake Man. Oh yeah, you know me. I, Snake Man's my favorite form. So I said he didn't go Bound Man. Thank you, Snake Man. All right, that's what I'm trying to see. Snake Man, nigga. But um, I thought Kaido did the Matrix first when he dodged an attack. Eh? I thought he dodged it. I, I thought they missed him. But were you mad at? Were you mad at um? Kaido wanted to kill um, Yamato or whatever. That was a point of contention last week in Virgo stream for some reason. I don't know. They're like, he changed his tune. I don't know. I don't know, man. You know these people. They nitpicky. They nitpick. I, do, I always admit that One Piece fans do a lot of rationalization for um, Oda. But conversely, a lot of people nitpick the stupidest things in my opinion. So. Mad at Yamato for what? No, mad at Kaido because like, oh, Kaido wanted her to be the Shogun of Onigashima and blah blah blah. And now you're gonna kill, you're gonna kill Kaido, you're gonna kill Yamato. And I'm like, Yamato's not listening. <laughs> like, okay, what? Why would we be mad at Kaido? I for... don't know. They said it was inconsistent. I don't remember. I tune out when people start saying how, dumb shit. How was I mean? that inconsistent, bro? Oh, I, that that seems remember. pretty consistent with me. I don't even remember the argument. That's the joke. I just remember the takeaway. <laughs> 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 Cause you have to make sense to me. If you're not making sense to me, I'm not listening to you. I don't care what you believe and how you say it. You can say it with your entire being in chess. If it's not, if it's a nonsense, I'm gonna just look at you and I'm gonna look away. So yeah. <laughs> I hate that I got a two hundred ninety percent of internet. Yeah, yeah, one piece internet things. I totally agree with you. Like I have to just like talk to certain individuals. I have, I have a couple of streams I want to do now. I pro. I'm, no, 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 no. I need to I need I need to I need to bet something important. I'm doing the stream on Friday. The the, the thriller bark one is happening. I'm doing it on Friday. But hey, hey, it's time. Fine. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 So you there? Okay. Finally. All right. We're it's doing on that. a day that I'm free. <laughs> okay. Good. 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 All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Good. But also, there's a video that I want to do. But I want I want some community people in it. So I have to ask like Jay and Virgo if they'll be around. But I want to talk about the dis the One Piece discourse in general. Just what happens on streams, like kind of in our community. I'm sure there's subsections of One Piece that's not crazy. Kind of like my channel is like a more grounded discussion about One Piece. That's not just crazy theory and or hey, lady, me, the nerdy, me, the so whatever it is. So like. So I'm gonna talk about like I think the discussions have gotten so terrible and stagnant. So, in my opinion, but then again, there's probably a lot of stuff I'm not seeing because I stopped looking. So I'm sure there's tons of great content and stuff out there and everything. But yeah, so yeah, uh, Golden Ace. I have a I have a series called Ranking the One Piece series a series where I where I'm supp it's supposed to be done by now. Basically, what I'm supposed basically what it is is where we. We take a saga, so East Lu saga. We go through every single arc, and then we give every arc um, a score. Then we take the average of it, and we give the saga a score. So I've done East Blue, I've done Alabasta, I've done Skypea, and we did um, we did, yeah, we did um, uh, Water Seven. So we'll be on Thriller Bark now. So that's the next one we got to do. But it's really it's a good time. It's fun. Uh, check I there's the other ones are there if you want to just kind of get an idea of how it, how it kind of goes. We just talk talk about each arc, what's good or bad about it, the best moments, worst moments, character stuff we really enjoyed, and then we kind of go to the next thing. So it's it's a good time. I'll see if I can see I'll see if I can get some some some, some like send in those sensei send in those guys to come if I can. If not, it is what it is. But um, but yeah. Oh, there yeah, it was it was Toddy that said that. It was Toddy. There you go. It was Toddy that said that. But um, Toddy and the rest of them niggas are always OD. That's fair and I. The defense of OP go too far and the hitters make not cycle points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I never defend the fact that, uh, that I know One Piece fans are crazy, fanatics, and they rationalize a lot of things for Oda. But it's just like, sometimes I'll sit there and I'm like, is this really an issue that's bothering you? Like, you're harping on the fact that Big Mom choked Marco and asked per Perro to shoot him. Who cares? What, like, move on. Is that really a big deal? Like, nope, dude, bro, not at all. bro, that man did not move off that point for an hour. Just wring his neck, just throw him. Well, I'm like, oh, who cares? It's just not a big deal. Yeah, Friday, Friday. Do these, do these people understand that 
Marco is a phoenix, so like in theory, he cannot be killed mm-hmm. unless you put like sea stone handcuffs on him. Mm-hmm. Yes, they don't understand I don't this. Know. I don't know. And and I'm and talented. Yeah, come to come. You're free. Definitely, I need you there if you come. If you come to because like, see, I like have yeah, and like we just need to have that, that conversation though. But yeah, um, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, and 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 what makes what makes what makes me mad is they don't check him. Only I check Toddy when he says them shits. Cause then he'd be like, unlike Togashi, and I'm like, at at you tried it. I'm here. You can't, that won't work here. You could you could suck his dick, and you you could suck his dick when I'm not there. When I'm there, it's, it's not gonna fly because Togashi's not fucking perfect. I don't care if you like him or not. Like I'm not, I'm not even here to go there. He's not perfect at all as a storyteller. So stop the cap. Are we sure? I'm absolutely Who is sure. You? That <laughs> by the way, lizard. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga hurts so gosh, he said, are we sure? <laughs> You're certain. You're absolutely certain, all right? Fuck that, Nick. Well, yeah. Uh, no. Or, run out of endurance. Wait, what happened? Hold on, wait, what? Uh, is it really an issue for you? Like, like, is it really, like, is that really bothering you? Or do you something to complain about? Like, Bloody. damn. Simply hating ass niggas out there. I mean, it is what it is. I don't check him because I can't be bothered to argue with someone that only half believes what they're saying. I believe that. Sirachi's the only perfect story. There's no perfect storyteller. That's a lie. Sirachi's right there. Whoever said that. You see, you seen better than Yak. <laughs> Curry gone better. No, he isn't. Curry gone better. Nope. <laughs> nope. Uh, I mean, the Curry merchant, not better. Nah, she's better. <laughs> you guys have any, any closing comments? Closing comments? Oh. We finished talking about Dragon Ball already? I thought we were going to go back. back. Nope. We'll, hey. we'll come back another day. We're about to finish it anyway. You'll be fine. We'll finish all, it all, anyway. all I wanted to say was, people don't notice. We'll go, but... we'll, we'll go, we'll go, we'll, we'll, we'll go three more minutes. We'll go to the 130 mark. Keep going. When Goku first went Super Saiyan, that's my absolute favorite version of Goku. Same. And it's, it's so hilarious to me because Frieza actually could have won. But he just kept making this nigga more and more mad. <laughs> just like that thing? <laughs> Are you talking about Krillin? <laughs> Are you talking about Krillin? <laughs> His name? <laughs> like, why? But Frieza, but Frieza, this Frieza is like I love him because he revels in the evil. Like I love the twirling mustache thing. Like I just love being a bad piece of shit. Like I love that. I love bad guys who just like being bad, bro. Like, <laughs> what was like, what was like, the example we used the other day? We were talking with Simi. We we're like, the Spider-Man villain was like, yo, what you could do? You could cure cancer. Like I don't want to cure cancer. I want to turn people into dinosaurs. <laughs> like, I love that. <laughs> I love that shit. Because if you could believe in justice that wholeheartedly, why couldn't you believe in evil? What did what did they say about Dio, the arc evil elite? Like you need the elite the evil dog. Evil charisma, bro. You need that shit for gas. So nah, nah, for real though. But even like I actually love the speech that he gives, who are you? Like the I like the the actual translation, not the Superman version. I hate the Superman version. I am a Saiyan raised on Earth with the comp bro, shut the fuck up. <laughs> You I mean, mm, spitting? Nobody want to hear that shit. I came here like, yo, I'm a Saiyan raised on Earth who came here to beat you. I'm Son Goku, the Super Saiyan, nigga. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's all I have to say. Nigga, <laughs> freeze the Saiyan. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> no, the best. No, the best thing. The best thing to me with any of that is when he told Frieza to hit him. Then he was like, "Damn, you can't even destroy one little you, man. You, you could destroy a pl- whole planet, but you can't even yeah. destroy a little man." Or the other version. <laughs> Please! <laughs> Please! Other version. This is so funny. You said, he's I can a just get one the landlords hit. Are evil. I remember that. Toriyama based him off a, land, a landlord. I remember that. Or like a. Was it a. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was yeah. Landlord or Lone Sark or something like that. You're right, though. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. But, funny um, guy, that Toriyama. Funny lad. That's Simi would say. Funny lad. You know what I respect about him, too? He used to be like, oh shit, you're right. I did not give Go to the trunks until I forgot. And like you know yep. what? I respect you that just more than you capping. I, I respect mm-hmm. that. I could take that. Yeah, he said he ain't got no reason to lie. He got one of the best selling series of all time. He said, "Fuck it, whatever." I forgot. What are you gonna do about it? He's like, "Damn, huh? Yeah, shit. It'd be like that sometimes." So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he did the right. Also, biz translators will pay for their transgressions. 
because some of these translations, I'm just like, how do you fuck this up so badly? Yeah, hey, I told you Pat wrote the manga because I don't even know what the nah, fuck he be nah, talking nah, about. Nah, 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 but like, it's over Frieza is one of the lines that always bothered me. He's supposed to be, Bro, he doesn't he's supposed to be say saying like, over. now I'm pissed or said, now I'm yes, really angry. I'm mad. Yeah. And it, it's so simple that like, you know, when you watch anime for a long time, like obviously anime isn't the way you should be learning Japanese, but there are certain phrases and things you pick up on. So like when you hear it and you'll read subtitles, you'll be like, okay, that wasn't right. It's supposed to be something like da da da. But like, I'm watching the anime. I'm like, bro, this is a very, very simple Japanese expression that a beginner could translate properly. It's also and you just important. change it for no reason. Like, the idea of him being like a calm warrior from Earth, even though he's battle hungry and stuff, yeah, but he is a peaceful individual. He's fu- yeah. He got this because he's fucking enraged. He's mad mm-hmm. as shit. His best <laughs> friend has died. Like, like, bro, it's crazy. And it's like, now it's, o- it's over. It's over. Anyways, we out. Goodbye.